poem. Please, please rush at me at once to buy my book. Tear my clothes off if you like. I don't mind. <laughs> go crazy, go wild. Um, this is my final poem, and it's a science poem. A science poem. We've got a university lecturer at the back there, Roger, and we're going to be hearing some very wise words from him in a bit. And um, Roger, this is, my, this is my academia poem, and I dedicate it to you. Thank you. This is called The Myth of Protein. Protein! It's a biochemical compound whose name Bazelius found. Von Voigt claimed flesh makes flesh. Sang a sequence insulin, Pritz Prize, hemoglobin, and the Swedish were impressed. More studies on its benefits directed mutagenesis as Weissman had foreseen. To give those claims such credence will not distract from this grievance. Where do vegans get protein? What exactly can you eat? Is it healthy? No meat! Such Shakespearean introspection between the facts to delve lament. B12 or not B12? Surely that must be the question! Well, it's simple eating sensible. The soybean lacks cholesterol, it's easily fortified, and cooked contains exceptional tongue tingling, be sensual, and yet it will provide protein, as will peanut butter, black beans, flax seeds, pecans, almonds, lentils, and cashews. And yet, here is my beef hearing debate on my belief. People questioning what I choose. You see, I don't choose for pigs to feel. Now, I don't just believe that their pain is real. That's fact. It's not myth. It's not needed. So can we, in evolution, swap those myths for resolution? See that cruelty superseded. The facts of protein's chemistry, their documents throughout history laid out plain and clear. So, I hopefully wait for an honest, heartfelt doubt when protein's myths will finally disappear. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you very much.